Hi guys, what's up? It's me Brianna and I'm back with another video for you guys today and in today's video I will be doing another sort of girl talk series and doing a video that I've actually done before here on my channel but this one's just going to be kind of a more updated one and a bit more of an informative one, a more informative one than last time because I've kind of learned a lot more about the topic since my last video and have matured a lot since that video and as you can tell probably by the title, today's video is going to be all about periods. I today will be talking to you about periods and my experience with periods, um, type of symptoms with periods, what to expect before you start your period, what to expect when you're on your period. I'll also be sharing some of my favorite period products with you guys and stuff I like to use when I'm in my cycle and I'll also be sharing um, with you guys some tips and tricks that can help you not have such an awful period or that can prepare you for your period and just some um, period stories maybe I might even include some period stories in here so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video and I hope that you guys enjoy if you guys would like me to maybe do like a whole video like about periods like a different video maybe if you have any other questions or like a period Q&A let me know because then maybe I can get on a different level and kind of answer your guys's questions but let's go ahead and jump right in to the video so the first thing I want to talk about is the obvious and that's kind of like pads tampons and panty liners and stuff like that so so before I get into kind of like the symptoms of what to expect when you start your period, I want to talk about basically, you know, what you're going to be using mainly when you're on your period. And kind of the main part about periods is what I'm going to talk to you guys about, and that is tampons, panty liners, or pads. So. Typically, when I first started my period, I didn't use a pad, I just used panty liners, and I have here just the Always Infinity panty liners, and sometimes I would even like double layer them just for like extra protection because I was always so paranoid, but when I first started my period, this is kind of going to go ahead and get into talking about periods, but when I first started my period, I didn't actually bleed like red blood, I kind of spotted basically, and that's normally to be expected because you're not going to have like a full-blown period your first period, it's going to kind of be um, brown spot. So if you pull on your pants one day and you see brown spotting on your underwear, then that is a sign that you have started your period. You haven't officially had a full-blown period. Normally, and my doctor told me this, normally it's going to be irregular and it's going to take about probably two to three months before you actually have a full-blown, like... Bloody Mary period. I know that kind of sounds really unpleasing, but um, it's the truth. So I first started out by using panty liners, and this is totally optional now. I would not recommend using a tampon because um, I was not bleeding enough to use a tampon. Normally tampons have different like strengths or duties, I guess you could say. So you have like a regular duty tampon, a heavy duty, and then you just have like your in-between, like your medium duty. I would not recommend using a tampon uh, when you first start your period if you're brown spotting. Now if you're bleeding, then by yes, all means use one but I would say if you're like me and you brown spotted definitely use a panty liner because it's simpler it's a lot less mess and at school it's easier to kind of hide in your purse you're gonna either want to use tampons or pads now I'm kind of a girl that's like a little bit of both I will sometimes use pads like if I'm not going anywhere I'll be using pads but if I'm gonna go somewhere and I don't want to have to have like basically a diaper on me I like to use tampons so my favorite brand to use is Playtex or Always I use the Always pads and then I use the Playtex tampons so for pads when I first started having a heavy blown full blown period I used pads and I just used the Always infinity pads with wings so this is what a pad looks like in case you did not know so you open it and then it's gonna make a loud sound it's gonna be pretty loud don't try to be like you you know open it secretly because it's not gonna work it's just gonna make it louder but anyways this is what it looks like it's just a pad and now you can buy them to where they don't have wings but these ones it just has your little it tells you what the front is and what the back is so it looks like this and this is just a regular duty pad I don't think it's like heavy or anything it's just regular and then I have the wings right here um, and then they make them like without the wings so just imagine this without wings they also make it like that but I like the wings and let me tell you why I like the wings on my pads because I had a period horror story when I was in school and I was just using like a normal pad no wings no nothing because I didn't even know wings existed and basically what had happened was I was sitting down for such a long period of time and I did not realize how much blood had accumulated in my pad and basically it had seeped down like under my underwear and then it had got on the back of my pants and I had to walk out of the classroom with blood on the back of my pants and I did not know so I was walking to my next period and my friend was like Brianna you need to go to the nurse like you got blood on the back of your pants and I was like oh crap so that's kind of like an embarrassing period story that happened to me so definitely girls 
if you find yourself like bleeding a lot, try to get pads with wings. And I mean, if you're not even bleeding a lot, pads with wings could save you. So it's kind of like that playing it safe type of thing where, you know, you want to have like a backup plan just in case you bleed too much. So I definitely, definitely recommend these. I don't know if any other brands make pads with wings. I'm sure that they do. So if you're not one to want to buy like the Playtex or the Always brand, then I'm sure like Kotex might make some um, and maybe some off brands at different grocery stores might make some as well. So now moving on to tampons now the big question is do tampons hurt and in my last video I expressed that in my last period video I expressed that tampons did hurt a lot that was because the first time that I did put my tampon in I was doing it at the wrong angle and I was in the completely wrong position it wasn't right but over the course of the past two years since I've been using tampons I have you know obviously learned the proper way to do it and it hasn't hurt me ever since then so um, like I said I'll use tampons when I'm out and about or when I'm going out and doing like you know a lot of activities but I'll use pads if I'm just in the house or if I'm just going to school and I just don't really care you know what I mean so um it's completely optional I did not start using tampons I've been on my period for five years and I did not start using tampons until uh, about two years ago so it was really two years ago when I started using tampons and I started my period when I was ten and a half and I know that I said in my last video I started when I was 11, but I looked back and I actually had it marked on a calendar. Like, I started when I was 10 and a half, so it's been about five and a half years that I've been on my period now. So I didn't really start using tampons until two years ago because I was just kind of like, eh, I don't really need to. Like, you know, I'm just going to school. I'm not doing any heavy activities. But, you know, if you're going to be swimming or doing something where you need a tampon, definitely use one. So I use the Playtex tampons, and they're just normal tampons. These ones are also in the regular strength because I found myself not really needing to use the heavy duty ones. I tried them. Um, I used to have heavy periods starting out. My periods were kind of irregular so I would have like super heavy periods or super light periods where I would barely bleed at all and sometimes I would have medium periods but this is what the tampons that I use look like. I use the Playtex 360, um, the Glide, the Simple Glide or the Easy Glide tampons. I'll, I'll link everything down below that I'm mentioning and what I use in case you guys would like to use what I use but this is just what I use when I use tampons and I like it because the tip on it is very very soft and the plastic is not hard and the tip on it isn't pokey at all so you know when you're putting it up you it's not going to hurt so basically if you don't know how to insert a tampon you're going to go at like an angle and you can like either sit down on the toilet or put your leg up on the toilet but you're basically going to go at an angle and then um, once it is all in basically like once this part is in so once your fingers are touching your skin you're going to want to push up and then the tampon is in you basically and the string will be hanging down and then this will obviously come off. You'll just pull this off and then basically what's going to happen, I wish I could have had a cup of water to demonstrate, but when you bleed, this whole thing is going to expand like a flower. If anyone's ever seen the Keeping Up with the Kardashians episode where they put it in like a cup of water, it's going to be like that. And when it is time to take it out, this string will be hanging down, but trust me, it's not what it seems like. It's not going to be bothersome at all. At least it isn't for me. And then when you're done, you're just going to pull it out and throw it in the garbage or flush it down the toilet. I wouldn't throw it in the garbage. I would flush it down the toilet because tampons are meant to be flushed down the toilet. So yeah, that's what a tampon looks like. You guys probably all knew that but yes again I use the uh, Playtex 360 glide tampons I actually think they're called like the simple glide it's something like that but basically you know talk to your mom about getting tampons and pads I get this question a lot I got it on my last period video was that they were scared to talk to their parents or their mom or dad about getting tampons and pads now if your mom isn't around by a chance then you know talk to your dad or talk to maybe an aunt or if you have a sister if you're not comfortable talking to a dad um, talk to an aunt or a sister or a cousin who's a girl and maybe talk to them about a period but eventually uh, you know if you can't drive you're gonna have to probably tell your dad whom you probably live with that you've started your period and you know it's really easy to talk to moms don't be scared to come to your mom and tell her you started your period I wasn't scared I was just more like anxious I was kind of like oh my gosh I can't believe I started my period sort of thing that was kind of my experience with it but that is my whole thing about tampons pads and panty liners it's all personal preference tampons for me now that I've gotten you know used to using them these past two years they do not hurt it's just kind of like I don't even feel it anymore now I will say it does not hurt but it is going to feel quite uncomfortable because if you've never you know put anything down there and if you're kind of like all new to you then it's it's going to feel uncomfortable especially since you're sticking something up you and you're going to be bleeding at the same time and that's another question that I get a lot I got this really funny one on my last period video and that was how do you stick a tampon up you when you're bleeding and I laughed for a good 10 minutes at this comment 
because I mean it is kind of like well if you're bleeding and you're trying to like stick a new tampon up you a trick that I learned to do was like I would wipe myself basically really good with toilet paper and then I would just get my tampon and I kind of like over the past couple years learned how to really quickly get it up in there but still get it in there right um so yeah that's kind of my you know take on tampons pads and panty liners if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll definitely you know if I didn't cover anything I'll definitely be sure to cover it in the comments but that's kind of my advice to you. Again, it's personal preference. You do not have to do this by any means. Now, really quickly, I'm going to throw in here some um, other products that I like to use when I'm on my period. So, it can get messy in the butt and vagina area when you are on your period. So, I kind of, like, learned, like, I would just get, like, really messy. And I don't like to, like, take a bath, like, every second, like, every time. It's not like you're going to take a bath every time you change your pad or tampon. So, um, I found out about these Playtex Sport Body wipes and basically what they're uh, what they are if you've ever like had to do a urine sample and they give you like a wipe it's kind of like that and you're just gonna wipe all the way up and then all the way in the back and then you can just get any blood off of you that's kind of maybe gotten in the um, inner thigh or just you know on your area and you can just wipe it off you and it's really quick and easy you can even take these to school and you can flush them on the toilet and it also has a fresh and clean scent these are actually you know body wipes but you know that you can use them down there. They're gentle enough and sensitive enough to use down there. I thought I'd throw that in there because it takes away any bad smelling odor that the blood can leave. Another thing kind of going along with that, I have two more products to share with you guys. Oh, the cap just fell off of this, but I have two more to share with you guys. Another thing kind of going along with odor, I have these two things. This first one that I have to show you is the Vagisil Daily Intimate Wash and Odor Block, and it helps stop odor before it starts. When I'm on my period, instead of using just a body wash down there to kind of clean, I like using this, and you can pick this up at your local drugstore. They also also make another brand I believe called Summer's Eve and then there's some offerings that you can get at like Meyer and whatnot but I use this and the smell is it actually smells good and it blocks any odors that is going to kind of you know come from down there when you're on your period and I really like it because it helps me stay clean and it helps me feel clean so definitely I recommend this if you maybe bleed a lot or you just kind of want to feel cleaner down there when you're on your period another thing to go along with that is kind of like another odor block and this is just baby powder deodorant spray so it's like basically this is so funny it's like deodorant for your vagina basically and you can spray this down there like a couple of sprays and it'll just take away any odor so if you don't want to like, you know, it's if it's not like body washing day or if you don't want to like use that, you can definitely use this as an alternative. This is by the brand Feminine Discreet Sensual or FDS and um, I used this there for a while before I found out about the Vagisil one. So this is definitely another alternative that you could use um, that might help you out. So if you're one that struggles with smelling down there when you're on your period definitely go pick up these two things or tell your mom about it and have her pick it up for you another thing that i don't actually have with me because i don't have any on me is my doll so now when you're on your period you're going to experience the following symptoms i'm kind of now getting into these symptoms of being on your period you're going to experience um nausea most likely a lot of people it's kind of like a hit or miss with some people some people experience it some people don't but you're going to experience bloating in like the uh, uterus area so like where you're by your belly button um, you're going to experience some bloating and you're also going to experience nausea like I said you might experience nausea you might not um, uh, some people vomit I know I've never thrown up when I've on my period unless I ate like something bad and it made me sick but I've never thrown up just to throw up when I'm on my period um, the symptoms that I normally experience are just bloating and kind of I feel very fatigued and I feel super tired and obviously cramps are the main thing everyone talks about super uh, painful period cramps now some girls are worse than others and some are you know some periods are worse than others um, I will say though cramps kind of just come along with it basically you, you can get rid of them by you know doing some remedies for a little while but it's not a long-term solution you're always gonna have them and I guess I know they suck and bloating kind of just comes along with the period and I know that sucks as well trust me like I just don't even like to wear my normal clothes or normal jeans when I'm on my period like I have period underwear and I have period jeans like I definitely recommend this get underwear when you're gonna be on your period just go like to like cold or something somewhere that sells like cheap and expensive underwear and go buy underwear that you're not gonna care about and that you can throw out if they get ruined do not wear yo Victoria's Secret panties girls listen to me and learn from me because I wore my super cute Victoria's Secret underwear when I was on my period and then I got blood all over them and I was just like great so also another tip I have for you guys is kind of once your periods start getting regular kind of um you know have an estimated like time and know when you're gonna start your period and maybe have panties on that you know you don't mind ruining 
Um, and then another thing, you know, I've kind of went over all the symptoms, the nausea, bloating, possibly vomiting, maybe, and then obviously cramps. Um, you will, you might get a headache. Some people do experience headaches and some people, again, do experience fatigue and muscle aches. It's just kind of a bunch of symptoms all in one and it might make you feel like sick when you're on your period, but it's nothing that you should be worried about unless you're like throwing up or like have diarrhea or something like that, then it could be a different story. But that's just kind of some symptoms that I've experienced myself and that I've heard other people have experienced. Um, um, but you can take my doll my doll is a period medicine basically I don't really know how else to describe it but it's kind of like ibuprofen or Advil you take it but it will help relieve bloating and um, it's gonna help relieve your cramps and it's gonna help relieve any discomfort like a headache bloating cramps nausea any sort of pain they have my doll teen which is a little bit of a lighter dosage and then they have my doll complete which is like for adults which is what I use because I just like the stronger doses do doses I just like the stronger dosage because I feel like it just kicks in faster and it helps more so definitely that's really good if you go to school um, if you're a student and you're gonna be in school and you don't want to be feeling or being in pain when you're at school that's definitely a plus um, also something that I just want to throw in really quickly in here is um, birth control now um, I'm actually on birth control for my period so talk to your doctor if you start your period and it's been about a year and you have extremely bad periods now I'm not talking just like maybe a bad period one time I'm talking a period where you are bleeding everywhere it's so heavy flow your cramps like hurt you so bad you feel like someone's stabbing you um, you have a headache off the wall you're throwing up like I'm talking a super bad period where you're like ill and um, I started off having those I had like five in a row and another thing to know to look out for to know if you have a really bad period is when your periods last longer than seven to ten days if they last longer to ten days to talk to your doctor I had a period one time that lasted for two weeks so 14 days that's another thing the length of periods can be seven to ten days and you um you have a period every 28 days but like I said when you start off you're gonna be very irregular so don't go by that calendar just yet if you're a newbie um but yeah birth control is something that I take I take a very very low dosage do dosage dosage I cannot say dosage today for some reason but I take a very very low dose of birth control and that helps me enormously um, and I think that's about it and also the birth, birth control helps with um, regulating my periods I had the worst regular periods like on the planet and my periods were just so off every single month and I started taking birth control and now I know the exact day because you can just count your pill pack and I know the exact day when I'm gonna start my period so like the first three weeks of pink pills are when you are not going to be on your period and then the last week which is sugar pills the white ones for me are going to be when you're on your period so they're really helpful talk to your doctor don't just be like I want to go on birth control because I know some parents might be like whoa there no 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 but definitely talk to your doctor about it so I think I've covered everything guys I covered the tampons pads and panty liners I covered the symptoms um, I gave you guys a little period horror story that I had um, I covered some tips and tricks I covered some other products I covered the topic about birth control because I did get a lot of questions asked about that and I didn't mention that in my last period video um, but yeah I kind of just kind of gave you guys some tips um, I don't really think I have any more tips mainly just kind of stay prepared and don't expect your period to be rainbows and sunshines and not phase you when you have your first one if you have not started your period yet and you're scared to please don't be scared it's you know mother nature it's a woman's body like it happens to every woman on this earth so it's gonna help you have a baby one day and um, it's gonna happen to you eventually now some people are late bloomers and some people are early bloomers you may get it when you're 10 like I did you may not get it till you're 18 like some people I know so yeah I pretty much think I've covered everything if I left something out uh, you you might can go watch my other video and it might be in there or if I love something out and you have a question about it leave it in the comments below but that is all that I have for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one bye